Hello traders it's Samurai Trader here I've been asked by a number of members in light of the new Renko videos I've been recording just to put together a recommended cheat sheet so what I'm just going to quickly do is just run through a cheat sheet that uh, just may assist you just a one pager that may assist you uh, with your trading so as we get underway as always we do need to bring up the risk disclaimer if you're watching uh, if you're for a member of the public and you haven't seen one of my videos before please pause the video and ensure you do read the risk disclaimer and members if you haven't read the risk disclaimer for some time please pause the video uh, and also just very quickly if you don't have my free training manuals please click on the download links below and ensure if you're new to my channel that you subscribe and even better still become a member of the day traders fast track program visit my website and get more information about the day traders fast track program traders that's the end of the ad so let's now get into the cheat sheet so what I've done traders and this is particularly relevant to members of course is I've put together a word document and I've place this word document and just to quickly show you for the benefit of the new members okay so if you go log into my Google Drive you will find this in the Renko folder so simply click there and you'll find a copy of this uh, cheat sheet in the uh, Renko folder it's also under new recordings now uh, I've had a number of questions or uh, members email me just having trouble finding the uh, new recordings folder so it's where I put new recordings and upload so it's in this folder simply go up to this little icon here and you can sort by date and by folders just there so this is where you actually can sort them uh, just there so hopefully that assists now let's get back to the cheat sheet so the word document is there so you can actually download it and then make it your own and I think it's very very important I've put together some key points here but tailor it and make it your own remember the simpler the better so you could have this out in front of you just as a reminder as you're trading so one page cheat sheet for Renko chart trading target five by five so what is your daily target so five by five means five fifty dollar or five tick trades as a minimum our target there is 200 a day net per contract traded so do I have a rule of one for new members you'll see that I uploaded a new video on the rule of one uh, for Renko which absolutely works an absolute treat we're going to be looking at some charts in a moment do I have a t2 all of these here by the way are trend either trend trades or trend orientated trades for new members start off with your rule of one if you're trading rank over rule of one and the 34b focus on those two setups to begin with and lead into the others with experience as you gain experience so rule of one and your 34b start with those and once again we'll have a quick look at the charts in a moment so rule of one t2 t7 now as a reminder the t7 is a double top or double bottom with trend now of course you'll have your double tops and double bottoms counter trend trades but this is with trend and it's also uh, it, it's a great trade uh, when you have a double top or double bottom in the direction of a trend uh, if it's a bounce off the 89 of a 200 we call those bet the farm trades they're a very high probability trade do I have a 34b and 89b now you may notice here I've left off a 200b because your 200b's being a deeper pullback a much deeper pullback really quite often are counter trend trades so I've just once again follow the gold do I have a t20 a t10 sorry a t10 uh, t20 and a t20-1 now as a reminder here the t20-1 is simply just represents the one means the first trade after a t20 which I'll show you on a chart in a moment a couple of other things you just want to remind yourself I wait for the sweet spot you want to wait for the sweet spot every market has its sweet spot I follow the gold and you hear me talk about that regularly and most importantly do I have a fanning of the EMAs now if you're following a trending gold EMA do I have a fanning of the EMAs it's going to put you well ahead of the crowd 
does the AC does the anchor chart confirm the trade very important we want to be looking at a time frame as most of you are aware with Renko charts I like to use a time frame twice as high as my entry chart if I'm trading tick I like a time frame three times higher or if I'm trading a range chart I go for 1.7 times higher so twice higher on my uh, Renko do I have angulation now of course angulation what does that prove that we've got a good fanning of the EMAs and almost missed it here does the long-term stochastic confirm the trade very important particularly if you're looking at your t2s your t10s which is very reliant on the uh, long-term stochastic I use the trigger line 8 to stay in the trade we'll look at that in a moment a couple other things beware of sideways action equals chop now remember when it comes to watching your uh, your EMAs when you see your emails in a horizontal position uh, overlaying of price action etc you're in a choppy market you want to wait for the um, for the breakout but remember traders I want you to look at trading chop of a breakout uh, to reframe it a lot of people are very fearful of chop well yes you might get hit by one or two losses if you hit a choppy market but just remember after you have the breakout of chop usually it means great moves is some great trading opportunities so you want to learn to recognize chop but then how to get in uh, after that because usually there's some great trades after that uh, counter trend trading remember traders uh, focus on your trend trading until you're consistently profitable as a trend trader but do you have a double top or double bottom with Renko they're uh, they're, they're very sweet they're very nice so do I have a double top or double bottom do I have a 1d or a 2d now remember a 1d is divergence on your anchor chart with no divergence on your entry a 2d is when you've got divergence on both your anchor and your entry a double whammy a, a fantastic counter trend trade do I have a V trade a V trade of course is a very violent quick move where you've got a, a really good V in the market uh, I, I particularly by the way love the V trades during the globe session be and just on this point just remember traders be very cautious in trading counter trend in a strong trending market just remember that if you've got a really strong trending market you're going to get hammered usually if you start taking your counter trend trades you want just just remember that and do I have a t19 our classic divergence trade so that's just a quick one page or a short one page you can have in front of you tailor it to suit the key points now most of you know I've got uh, um, my trading rules actually let me just pull that up I'll show you this I just have to quickly go into my archives here and pull this slide out so most of you are aware I've got uh, most of my trading rules and patterns etc in plastic sleeve folders and of course my trusty notebook to be taking notes as I'm trading so your one page you're going to have just the front of this and really you're looking at or you have as a reminder in front of you keep it simple remember as Richard Branson said any fool can make something look complicated you want to keep it simple so you might just have that in your front sleeve as you're trading focusing uh, just as a reminder what to be looking at but what we want to do now traders is go to the chart so let me just uh, minimize this and let, whoops uh, sorry let me go down here get the chart up here we go okay so we're looking at uh, this is CL by the way I love uh, this is CL the end of the uh, New York session so the afternoon session uh, and this is sort of 1 30 onwards so as I trade I like to mark my charts up and I've just got a couple of comments here mark up and draw in trend lines your TL your trend lines as you trade one of the greatest challenges we have as traders is what we call boredom becoming bored by focusing drawing any patterns your trend lines your micro trend lines etc for an example here is a micro trend line see how or, or potential trend line see how you've just got this uh, whoops let me just try to get this trend line here for you okay so see I've got a peak here a peak here so as you trade, draw these in 
it's like a little flag and of course flags are great in trending markets and we're looking for breakouts when we have a flag and there it is there so our entry could be at the close of the first candle outside but in actual fact you can see there we've got a rule of one so here's a rule of one rule of one rule of one rule of one now the point I've got here you've got three rule of ones here but you're right at the pivot now remember traders you want to be very very cautious when you're trading your pivots time and time again we get what we get what we call a pivot bounce and we can see here we've had three tests of a pivot before finally we break through so if you want to be conservative wait until you get a number of tests you've also got there what have we got there a, a triangle set up here as well we can see we've got high lows here's your high and you can see you've got your breakout now the other point I want to bring down here is and you it's a little hard for you to see it let me see here but you actually had a 1d you had divergence on your anchor chart here here is your your t20 now I like to mark in the t20s because remember the t20 coincides with a 50 cci zero line crossover so it removes the need to have a cci on your chart as you know many traders will trade uh, only in a direction of the 50 cci so if you're above the zero line on a CCI you're looking for longs if you're below the zero line you're looking for shorts so here we've got a, a great t20 and so the quicker or the sooner you're taking your trades after a t20 the greater the opportunity for maximizing your returns now I've also got a comment here you need to be fast now unlike a time-based chart of course with a Renko you're basically trading as the market ranges but by the range you're having uh, by price action so these can be can really take off at times so that's something you need to be aware so at times you may struggle with a, uh, a limit order and you're going to be using market orders well that's just goes with the territories okay so moving along here so we've got our uh, our anchor chart here of course so I'm looking over at my anchor chart I can see I'm getting a nice fanning of the EMAs on my anchor chart and I've got a great fanning of the EMAs here on my uh, entry chart so that's great so I'll maximize that for a moment and that's what I'm looking at now the other thing I've got here and I was uh, marking this up live is it where's the FP where's the floor pivot you always want to know traders so what we've got here this is our R1 up here so here's my floor pivot here's my S1 my S2 now we know that the chances of moving from your floor pivot to the uh, R1 are very very high so always be asking yourself where are the floor pivots for an example here where's my next pivot here where's my next pivot because for your uh, R1s S1s and you're percentage of dropping down or your percentage lowers as you go from your uh, r1 to your r2 etc uh, what else have we got here okay so as I mark this up we then had a, a 1d which is also a PB a pivot bounce and you'll see that a lot so we had a pivot bounce here as well we come down for another pivot bounce 34b and we had a number of great trades now the other thing I want to say about this is you can this is what we call sweet spot trading we've got a great fanning of the EMAs we've got um, a great trend on our EMAs if you looked at the anchor chart we had a great trend there as well trader this is the ideal trading scenario trading scenario and of course virtually every day you're going to have multiple uh, opportunities like this multiple sweet spots in the market as we trade the thing is is to be patient and to wait for these and if you look at for an example at the ES at this time we had a great trend uh, at this time also on the ES on the NQ you'll quite often find that trading gold in the afternoon for an example can be very choppy great in the mornings uh, and by the way we're in three minutes time we have Globex opens up so the market of course is closed at the moment well you may not know but it is closed and we have uh, the market reopens in three minutes I give it a five to ten minutes to settle down but usually there's some great opportunities there on the NQ gold and on CL during the globe session so members uh, hopefully that's uh, giving you some ideas on using 
just having a one page cheat sheet wait for the sweet spot so traders I'll see you on the next video or I should say you'll hear me on the next video if you haven't subscribed if you're watching this for the first time or you're not a member please visit my website and find out more about the day traders fast track program thank you traders